Hey guys, it's Jack, and this is a fun blaster from the living. So this actually comes from a gentleman named Avery. And first off, I was initially confused because I was wondering how he got it all the way from North Carolina to me for one dollar. And then I realized that Avery is just old school cool, using actual currency uh, stamps to get the job done. And so it actually took nine dollars. And I don't know, I'm I'm into stuff like that. I think that that's super duper cool. So. Avery has sent this over. It is a piece of his work and should be very interesting. I've laid out things that I think I'll need to demonstrate it here, but you'll notice the train in the background before anything else. But this appears to be one of his 3D printed accessories. Avery has an eBay store, which I will happily link in the description box below for 3D printed Nerf accessories. He's also part of the Hobby Mods 3D print affiliates crew. Looks like a little bit of electrical tape holding these together, but these look to be two separate iron sights designed specifically for this blaster, which is super duper cool. So we'll align those however they're supposed to go in just a moment. And then the blaster itself is an interesting integration that I have not seen many people do and I'm pretty excited about personally. This is a little bit rough, but definitely not too bad. It's a Auto Raven or an Auto Raven. These are 180 motors, so they are sticking out of the Raven shell, but it maintains the bullpup functionality with clip release back here. Are there batteries in this? It feels a little bit heavy. We're going to check real quick. He's painted it up in an elite paint scheme, a very interesting kind of pattern going on in the elite paint scheme with some silver trim in various places. And it's a good thing I brought some batteries out. We'll test it with standard alkalines. We'll work it up to ultra fires later. These are not nearly enough to supply the current necessary for the 180s. So this might be a little bit subpar, but hopefully it'll run the blaster. And then the reason it's an auto raven is because the Centurion stock in the back here is, well, there we have that. Is this a functional jam door? It might be. It might or might not be. It doesn't feel like it is, so I'm not inclined to force it, but it's got a break. Hmm. Maybe we'll figure that out later, but you can see from this end that it is in fact an auto raven in that it is a full auto raven. So it's bullpup, 180 motors, automatic, and it's accomplishing that by housing a rapid strike pusher mechanism in this Centurion stock, which conveniently has enough room to fit all of that. So it changes the weight profile drastically. This is a very, very back heavy blaster as opposed to the Raven, which is shorter and more compact. So a Raven is right here. The auto Raven is a little bit further out. You could of course add barrel attachments if you really needed that foregrip, but I kind of like the close to your body. I'd run it on a single point sling right here for humans versus zombies. I had the foresight to pack up a 12 dart clip and load it up so we'll see kind of what sort of performance we're getting. I actually kind of like it on alkalines. The slower rate of firing means that I'm not just blowing through my darts. He's also lowered this clip release here. It looks like he accidentally took off too much. One way or the other, it's just a very interesting build. And of course, like a fully automatic Raven, how cool is that? Would be a fine HVZ blaster, especially running on the proper battery setup. I'm sure the rate of fire really gets there. The detailing is excellent. If Avery was looking for critiques, and I doubt that he is, um, I would come back over with silver enamel and get this a couple of times. I usually have to do two or three passes to make my enamel look truly metallic. And then, of course, we all fall victim to not sanding enough on our putty work. So I won't even mention that. Other than that, the paint scheme is sweet. It's elite all over, so it really blends well. If I saw this from 10 feet away and that's not far enough away, I just assume it was a weird new elite blaster of some kind. And I think that's the goal with integrations like this is to make something really special like that. Heavy use of neon orange is excellent, not only because you get to keep pieces unpainted. The reason that I do it frequently is so that those pieces stay mobile and clicky, but also allows you to use standard clips and such without them clashing with the blaster's paint job. So an overall great success. I think that the Auto Raven is a really cool blaster and an excellent platform. I can't wait to try and make one for myself if I ever get some time away from university to do so. But I think that it's really, really just a neat platform. I love how he's highlighted all of the relevant stuff in silver. I wish that we'd taken off these labels that are irrelevant at this point 
but everything matches looks really really cool and I think I've said that plenty of times definitely if you're in the market for something neato mosquito like these rail attachments here and oh no how do I get this one on I guess I've gone in the wrong order here if you're in the market for something like this what I was going to say is you could check out Avery's web store in the eBay link below where you could pick up some custom rail attachments of your very own. I don't know where he was planning on seeding these, but I assume it was something similar to this sort of setup, which does put them very front heavy for my taste, but still gives you something to line up with. This block here in the Ravens thing is kind of making it difficult as you can't snap it on in the very, very back, but an overall cool project, and I'm sure a stunning success for Avery, and I look forward to seeing more stuff from him from in the future. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the Auto Raven build. If you think that I should make one myself, do my own take on this platform, I think that it would be a lot of fun.